diamond? Yeah. Go, go, go. You finna shoot up the car. Shoot up the car? Yeah, go. What the fuck? What is go. that? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? He just shot at the car. For what? Let me call the police. Man, fuck this shit. Let me call the police, Cuddy. Well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yes, thank you, thank you. You far too kind. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Por favor. Come on, let's do this. Hop on in, buckle in, and let's go. Yeah! Okay, doke party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. What are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Man, it takes a real big man to admit when he's wrong. And especially if you have your own podcast, you get on a podcast in front of everybody and you kind of doing a heel turn. Stephen A. Smith latest rant is kind of refreshing. All right. I know I give Stephen A. Smith a hard time, you know, talking about he's a coon and all that, but now I'm really starting to think he gets it, you know, seeing him, his mind turn live on TV with his own talking points and he's trying to put the pieces together. It's kind of refreshing, all right? He's not breathing that same stale Democrat air anymore. No! The same old tropes, the same, you know, he's a racist. He's doing some real deep thinking, and he's putting it out on the podcast. Let's take a listen at his latest rant. According to Henninger, the newest buzzword in politics is lawfare, or using the legal system as a weapon against a political opponent. Henninger questions how many lawsuits, court motions, and judgments against Donald Trump the Democratic Party can actually chow down on. He also ponders about the high price the American system may pay for all of this in excess. Let me tell you something. It was a great opinion piece. I completely agree with Daniel Henninger of the Wall Street Journal, the opinion piece that he wrote in there, because we've got to get to a point where we're saying when's enough's enough. This article is a very profound one. The higher price of Democrats anti-Trump lawfare, because when the legal system is utilized this way and people see you getting away with trying to cause all of this ruckus towards him, as opposed to simply beating him at the polls, that gives them additional fodder to question the legal system. And once they do that, it gives them a significant license to be lawless and to engage in lawlessness, which will explain some of the mayhem and the nonsense we've been seeing in the streets of America that would have never been tolerated, even as late and as recently as Barack Obama being in office, or George W. Bush for that matter, or Bill Clinton for that matter. The nonsense that we're seeing in the streets today easily could be attributed to a level of lawlessness that people don't care about committing because they're seeing our politicians manipulate the system in such a way that they don't like it because it reminds them of things they've always felt about our government to begin with, which is, by the way, what makes Trump sound like he had a lot of sense when he was comparing himself to the plight of black folks, even though we know better. Anybody black knows that ain't a problem Trump had. But he talked about being a victim. He talked about the system being rigged against him. He talked about the powers that be wielding and influencing a level of power just to make him uncomfortable for their own bidding as opposed to it being legitimate. <laughs> see, see, all it takes is a little investigation and the truth will come out. Stephen A has pointed out some things that made sense for me also that it's been Eight years since they've been saying the same thing. The media, the Democrats have been saying the same thing about Donald Trump. Eight years. We're going to put him in jail. Russia collusion. Uh, impeachment. 
all this, all this noise, all this noise for the last eight years. And guys, you're not tired of it by now. And you still, we're still waiting for him to go to jail. We're still waiting for him because supposedly he's done so much. Russian collusion. Remember all of that? We're still waiting for the jury. We're still waiting for the guilty verdict. We're still waiting for him to be incarcerated. We're still waiting for him to be seen in zebra stripes. You can't touch him. They've been saying this forever and got everybody hyperventilating. Oh, we're going to get Trump this year. We're going to get him this year. It's the same lies. And people are getting Look, people are starting to see the truth now. Donald Trump made a very salient point. I know you don't hear me say that often, but it's true. He made a very salient point a couple of weeks ago, or I think it was in the immediate aftermath of Super Tuesday when he was talking about President Biden and he was saying, you know, come beat me. Stop trying to use the legal system. If you want to be the man, beat the man, Biden. Stop hiding behind the lawsuits. And now he's throwing this salvo. He said, yo, why don't you come beat me? Stop engaging in lawfare and using the legal system to push your political agenda. Come beat me. That's what he did. This is, listen, I do sports most of the time. That's the kind of language we want to hear, ain't it? Can you beat him or not? You going to beat him? And shout out to you, Stephen A. Smith, for pointing it out. What are we going to do now, guys? Now, again, I really appreciate Stephen A. putting this out on his on his podcast because you know most of his most of his content is about sports, and a lot of sports um, people that follow sports are not into politics. But ever since Obama came in the scene, ESPN and a lot of sports writers started to muddy the water. You know, instead of talking about sports, the numbers and the facts. They start using feelings and start talking about uh, sexual orientation and taking knees during sports sports events. And we didn't, you know, people tune out. I know I tuned out. You know, I haven't watched ESPN since uh, Stuart Scott passed away. But, you know, with all these female reporters on there who never played football before, but now they're expert in football. But that's, I digress. But Stephen A. Smith has put out some some good content lately, especially when it comes to politics. And it's starting to clear out the cobwebs in some of these young folks' minds. Ladies and gentlemen, there's so much to get into. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to simply say this. Trump is kicking the Democrats you-know-what. Watch that. Oh! Again, some fresh air has been coming into the black community and we're not breathing the stale air anymore. You know, we need some fresh ideas, some fresh outlook, put some fresh eyes on the prize. Okay, we have to get, take a second look because they've been saying this about Trump for the last eight years. Now, imagine what they've been saying the last 50 years about Republican Party, about white people or whatever for the last 50 60 years it's the same line and if we don't graduate to the next level we're still going to be doing the same thing insanity all right so shout out to you Stephen a smith and guys if you got any value out of my content do me a favor hit the like hit that subscribe you see that notification bell turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest Share this content with your best friends and tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you jock sniffers, get off my lawn.